What is going on guys? Sean Down coming back with this week's training vlog. Stay tuned to check out some more weight room testing, box jumps, max, squat testing, muscle snatch testing, hitting big numbers this week. Real excited about it. And then stay tuned at the very end for my 5K slam session where I set a fat, old, personal best. Enjoy. So, week 10, training vlog. Here we are, a couple days late, actually a whole week late. Got caught up with some things, took a little vacation to Minneapolis. And uh, yeah, it was just once again, kind of in that living life mode. Didn't uh, exactly prioritize this extra stuff. Obviously, still, still got my training in, but a week late, so I apologize. Uh, which means this past week of training, which is also late, will be up later this week. Um, maybe consider it a Christmas present, if you will. Hmm? How about that? Uh, so, without further ado, time to ramble. Um, day one, week 10, 5K still, final week of the 5K cycle. Um, it's been frustrating, to say the least. Uh, throwing the 5k I've never been this strong while throwing the 5k and that makes it hard that's all I'm gonna say um, outside of that testing this week was pretty solid really up and down week as a whole um, as you guys can see box jumps 52 inches uh, definitely working on that their hip mobility <laughs> um, but doing what's on the program, 52 inches. I've never really tested my max box jump, but I guess that's a decent number. Um, and then I got to do clean high pull testing too, which is fun because who likes, who doesn't like to just rip weight off the ground and, and jerk it violently? That's right. I said jerk it violently. Pause. Um, yeah. 170k actually felt pretty solid, but 180 was definitely like I don't know, that was a little too heavy. Um, so I guess I think that honestly, I don't know where that ranks all time. I actually don't know if that's a PR or not, but 170 definitely felt the best. I think it ever has. Um, and then as you guys can see, a back squat five rep max, um, using the knee reps to keep my, my little knees warm, not getting much out of it though. So don't worry. Um, and yeah, so as you guys saw, I did that first rep at 165. Uh, I thought... I don't know, I, I guess I didn't really pick a certain weight uh, to figure out my five rep max. Like I just kind of went based off of what it would be and then added another five, 10 kilos because I would, you know, didn't want to do anything crazy. So that first rep I did at 165 and I was like, that's way too easy for a five rep max. And then I went up to 170, which was my previous three rep max. So I'm like, well, this should be a good weight to do, you know, add an extra two reps. Uh, and was just totally like way off and I did it for five and it felt like RPE seven. So it wasn't a true max, but oh well, 170K for five. Felt like I could have done eight, which I think is just about what I did back in 2015 when I had my strongest squat of two, no, 200, 220K, 485 pounds. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I'm definitely working up to some new strength levels here. And I think that's, like I said, that's kind of why I think throwing the 5k has been such a challenge lately. Um, and, uh, and then, yeah, I did not record anything on my camera cause I forgot to charge my batteries on day two. So here you get some slow-mo sports science video. Yeah. Um, and then day two lifting, same as usual conditioning. Uh, highest volume of the cycle so far, but that's not saying much because it's much less than I was doing in my previous conditioning cycles. Um, so, yeah, the first two days of the week were a little bit of a struggle throwing. Um, Monday and Tuesday were not the best, but Wednesday, today, day three, uh, things started to feel a little bit better. 
not by much, but a little bit. Like I'm starting to look like I kind of remembered how to throw a hammer a little bit. It's really not much, but um, yeah. What else is going on this week? Uh, day three, I don't know. I should just cut some of these throws out, honestly, but I'm not gonna, cause it's time to ramble. This is might as, this might as well be my, my therapist. You guys get to sit down and hear me ramble about training and, and voice all my feelings and thoughts and concerns, which I guess technically, yeah, it makes you guys my therapist. So thanks for <laughs> helping me out, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys, you guys can't really tell, but the field that we're throwing in is so damn wet and that has made my life of training a living hell because I go to practice with dry shoes and dry socks and leave practice with wet muddy shoes and wet muddy socks every single day, even when it doesn't rain. And yes, it's me complaining about throwing outside in December in having wet shoes when half the country is outside throwing in snow or inside throwing the weight. So yes, I'm going to complain about it. I moved to California for a reason. And when it's not nice out, it makes me a little sad. Um, more, more testing here. Muscle snatch 95 K once again, a little bit much, uh, probably should have stuck with like 90 or maybe 92 and a half. Um, not the cleanest rep, but it is a muscle snatch nonetheless. Um, and then five rep max testing on the dumbbell Z press it went horribly. Um, not like I did terrible. Like I still, I hit my old three rep max for five reps, but on the way up while warming up, I did, I think it was like 75 pounds for, I think a couple, like three, four reps, something like that. And dude, it felt like I could have busted out 10. So I got overzealous and I'm like, Hmm, maybe I'll go for 90 pounds for a five, which was dumb and then didn't even get one rep and then on the 80 i went down to 85 only got what was it like one rep i was like no so i go back down to 80 and as you can see barely even get that fifth rep terribly mismanaged my weight selections here but it'd be like that sometimes the dumbbell z press is a fickle mistress hard to uh you know feel it out some days um row four by five 150 k back's feeling strong legs feeling strong um like I said, as I start to work up in weight, I'm excited to see how this new general strength will transfer and hopefully it will make these transitions to the heavy balls to the, I'm, I'm going to the, the 6.8 K hammer next, the 15 pound hammer. Um, so hopefully it'll make it feel good. I don't know. Weighted pull-ups three by seven, five K, not much, but it's honest work. Um, and then, yeah, so Friday, this is a taper session, so I only did like eight throws, I think. And this is the first day uh, all week where I was like, okay, this is how you're supposed to throw the hammer. I could actually relax and feel the tension. My body felt a little bit more coordinated. Everything just felt better. Um, just for being eight reps, though, it was a little bit higher intensity. I didn't want to go. I honestly would say my feeling was maybe a little bit better today than it is for tomorrow for the slam session. Um one of these throws accidentally went kind of far um so that kind of got me excited because i was like literally right at my previous personal best on a day when i don't go very hard and when i don't really take any caffeine so that got me really excited for the slam session the following day but lifting on day four on friday um was tough uh, it did take a little bit out of me because I was uh, repping out front squats, as you guys will see later on. Um, so I think without that lifting session there, the slam session I had on Saturday would have been even better. Tired legs will do that to you, but oh well. Stick to the program. Train hard now. Recover and throw farther later. Um, 170K on split squats. It's supposed to be like 9 RPE. Uh, instead of going... I don't know, just going balls out. I'm really taking it conservative with these split squats. Um, I don't really think they're as important as I once thought they were for hammer throwing. I have that single leg strength 
the hip stability. So once it's there, it's there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, well, 135K for seven on the front squat rep out, am rep plus set, whatever you want to call it. Um, which is pretty cool because my previous three rep max was 140K. So five, kilo, five kilos under that for another extra four reps. Um, I want to try to hit 140K for maybe like nine or 10 at the end of this next cycle that I'm about to start. Um, so once again, general strength is on the come up. Uh, and then yes, so this is probably why you guys are all here. It's my slam session. I'll probably put it in the clickbait. Click, clickbait title. I don't know. Big PR with the 5K. Yeah, something like that. Um, nice, easy, progressive turn. Warm-ups, super controlled. Balance as much as possible. Just trying to relax and feel the hammer. It was really cool, dude. Uh, this throwing session was bittersweet, I guess. So like I said, I set a big PR at the end of it. I'll try to point out what throw it was. Honestly, I had like five throws that were all very good, but I didn't, I couldn't quite hit the big one. As you guys can see, there was some struggles with uh, timing of the release. One, because maybe I was trying too hard. Two, because it's really freaking hard to time up the finish right. Um, but these first two, three warm up throws were already over my previous best, like previous personal best, um, which was really cool because that got me thinking, I was like, man, I might be able to PR by like four or five meters. Um, as, you get, as you guys can see, yeah, so like that, starting to hook the finish a little bit because I'm just mistiming and the ball's just moving so freaking fast. Um, so it was kind of like one of those things where I couldn't quite go as hard as I wanted to during a typical slam session because um, out, out to the left, as you guys can see, there's kind of that row of trees down that, or like on the other side of those trees is, is a hill covered with bushes and trees of course and when I hook the hammer it gets caught in that shit and then it's really hard to find so when I'm in the middle of a slam session I hook throws down there I gotta go take an extra five minutes to go find it and that kind of just kills my rhythm and really uh, messes me up but you know it's like it's uh, what's the saying it be like that sometimes yeah it do be like that sometimes um because in competitions, shit happens, and sometimes you just get iced for 5-10 minutes, and you gotta go dig around in bushes to try to find a lost hammer, which, I mean, I can't say it's ever happened to me in competition, but things like that happen, so you gotta be prepared. Um, same shit, hook and throws down the left sector. Shirt came off, because I was like, it's time, let's get after it, let's get loose. And uh, as you guys can see, things are finally, finally starting to line up a little bit more. Um, settled in once I actually tired out a little bit, which was interesting. Um, I want to say this is... Where is it? That was, that was the PR throw. But it was like, I don't know, like I said, about there's four or five throws in here that were within 20 centimeters of each other. And um, it was good. And for those of you who might be wondering how far is Sean Don throwing the 5K, um, I'm, uh, I, I guess I'll tell you. I don't know. Maybe I won't. No, I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to tell you guys. I'm, I, I don't want it to be about distance. This is more about technique. And I know I keep spouting off about the the, the PBs and stuff, but um, it's more about technique. And I want to focus more on the process. So, um, if, if you watch the video... I don't know. Comment down below and guess how far it went. No, don't even do that. I really don't care how far it goes. Um, I just want it to look better. And it's getting there. I think a couple of these throws are, are kind of what I want. You can see a much more centered. Timing is better. Rhythm is better. Tension is better. Um, but there's still more to do. So, and then day five lifting. Nice and easy conditioning. So, thanks for watching, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Give it a share go share with one other person be a g and help me out maybe you guys can learn something from this video i don't know give it a share my brain is not working it's 10 o'clock at night on a sunday i just want to go to bed so thanks for watching sean don peace and out until uh later this week have a happy holidays everybody